question. Have you ever felt like everything in your life is just dead? That it's rotten? Although you believe in the Lord, although you believe in His power and His grace, in the miraculous power of the Holy Spirit, have you ever just felt like everything around you has just fallen? How it's impossible that the will of God could be manifested in your life with everything that's going on? Well, I'm here to tell you, you're not alone. We can read a story in John 11 about Lazarus, Mary and Marta, and about what happened in that family. Listen, this was a family that had seen Jesus. They had seen his miraculous power. They believed in him. They knew that his grace and his power was sufficient. And while he was with them, they saw many signs and wonders. But then he left their town. And Lazarus, the brother of Mary and Marta, he ended up getting sick. And so they sent word to Jesus, please, please come back. Your beloved servant, he's fallen sick. Please come heal him. And when Jesus heard this word, he already knew what was going to happen. Because although they only sent the word of him being sick, he told his disciples just a couple few days later, Lazarus is dead. It's time for us to return. And they, in unbelief, they were saying, Lord, don't you know the Jews are trying to kill you? And you want to go back? And he answered them, we must go. And Thomas even said, and still in unbelief, and a little bit sarcastically, okay, well, if he's dead, let's all go there so we can die with him. But they went. And as he was getting close, Marta came out first, and she found Jesus. And she said, Jesus, if only you had been here, you could have kept my brother from dying. He said, don't you believe that I am the resurrection and the life? Yes, Lord, I know that he'll be resurrected in the final day. I know that we will all be resurrected in the final day, but you could have kept him alive now. You don't understand. So then she returned and she grabbed Mary, the one who had anointed Jesus' feet. And she came out and said the same thing. Lord, Lord Jesus, my brother is dead. If you had been here, you could have saved his life. They didn't understand. But Jesus, he knew. He had already known that Lazarus was going to die. Even though he had only received word that he was sick, he knew what had to take place for the purpose and glory of God to be manifested. And so when they arrived at the tomb, he said, take the rock away. They said, Lord, Lord, don't, don't you realize? No, 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 he's been dead for four days. The body, it stinks. You know, it's his remove the rock and so when they removed the rock Jesus called out to God he prayed and declared in a loud voice Lazarus rise and come forth and that man rose from the dead and he came out of the cave still bound up and he told everybody to free him listen at times in our life it may feel like the body is stinking like everything is dead it's like we there's no way that the will of God could be to allow us to pass through such hurt, such heartache, such pain as pass through Marta and Mary. And Mary. Sorry, Spanish. But God has a plan. And that's why Jesus had even told his disciples before they left, I'm glad we were not there so that you may believe. Because Jesus as we know that he works all things for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. Although we may not understand his power, they were looking in the limited light, even though they had seen this man working miracles, they still could not see beyond the limitations of the natural. But Jesus, knowing what he could and would do, used it as an opportunity to show his faithfulness and his power and to grow everybody involved, not only them, but all the Jews from Jerusalem who the word says were with them, consoling them. It was an example for them and for us that his faithfulness is satisfactory. His faithfulness is enough and that he has a plan for all things. So whatever has happened or whatever is happening in your life, don't let it rob you of your hope. Don't let it rob you of your faith. Stand fast, stand firm in Him, knowing that no matter what, 
Not only does God love you, but he is more than able and capable of reviving any aspect of your life that he needs to. And when he does, he can do it in an instant. These trials and tribulations are there for a reason. They grow us as gold is refined by fire. He uses it for our good. And although at times it can be tough for us to see and truly understand that, it's imperative that we press forward in faith to see the fullness of God's glory manifested in our lives. God bless you. I love you all. Hope to see you again.